the real NV87, the blind NV87, the NV87 who doesn't care what the screen looks like. Mm. Hi everyone, here is another edition of my own little driving me crazy reaction video, whatever you would call this series. Last time I did one about pedestrians who don't pay any attention to the traffic and admittedly the driver has a point when he says this is just stupid what these people do. Not sure I agree with him assessing that Vision Zero, by the way, that's uh, not just local as it turns out, I guess it's national. I believe it was that person who sent that video in that said this as opposed to Chris, the reporter that brings us all these. I would hope so. Um, one or the other of them, I, I would hope that it was the viewer, like I said, said Vision Zero is a waste of time and money when people do this garbage on the roads. Well, I can sort of see where he's coming from, but I can't really agree that the idea that Vision Zero is a waste of effort. Even though I'm not affiliated with Vision Zero, people get hit by cars. They don't always live to tell about it. Idiots run people down in their cars and then just run off like a freaking coward. You hear about it, it pisses me off, and if Vision Zero is there to stop that or try to stop that or stand against that, then I say more power to him. Having said that, you also can't blame the drivers when pedestrians do one of the things that is mentioned in this edition of Driving Me Crazy since I find it on YouTube. Actually, this was on YouTube. I could put it in the description box below. It's actually about 30 seconds worth of an hour, literally an hour's worth of news. They had to stream on YouTube yesterday because NBC News was doing a national thing that was going on. And... They said, well, we don't want to cancel our local news, so they moved it to a cable channel that I didn't know to move to until it was too late. And they also put it up on YouTube, fortunately for me. So, having said that, as soon as I find driving me crazy in this hour-long thing... Star Wars, thank you, Rod. Right now, Chris McGinnis is here with another edition of Driving Me Crazy. What are you talking about? Well, since I missed Mailbag Monday, let's do it on Friday, right? Your comments, I always ask people what drives people crazy on the roads. Well, here you go. On my Facebook page, Sydney Proudfoot says, What drives me crazy is people that don't use their headlights, especially during gray days. She says cars are, well, a lot of shade of gray. A lot of, most cars are shade of gray, and it's hard to see. Turn your headlights on. Yes, I think a lot of people put, could probably agree with that one. And this one is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, Chris Wolfram says, do a driving me crazy and talk about walkers wearing black and how drivers can't see them. Yes, I call them ninja pedestrians on these dark, <laughs> rainy fall nights. We're getting less and less light. Nobody wants to be involved in a traffic crash involving pedestrians. So pedestrians help us help you, etc. right? Wear something maybe a little bit brighter than just all, all black or maybe some armbands or something like that, right? I always think that's, you know, a must. Like when I'm out running in the dark, rainy weather, I wear something bright and reflective. If you've got something that drives you nuts on the roads, let me know about it. You can post your comments and your videos on my Facebook page or you can email me at cbgiddis at kgw.com. Guys? Yeah, so I'm blind and I know that's, you know, I, I, I may not understand the concept of what colors look like, but I know that if I ever do decide to get brave and try to cross the streets again, I'll be maybe covering my white cane more than it already is with reflective tape, maybe even put on a reflective vest, probably put on a reflective vest. I mean, I'm going to do everything I can to be visible. You know, cane out, rushing across the street as quickly as possible, but I'll wear probably a reflective vest, like I said, because... I'm not sure what color I'm going to be wearing, but in case I am wearing black, let me also put on a reflective vest on top of it so that you can't say, well, my God, I didn't even see her. Well, why not? She was wearing this reflective, I mean, you couldn't have missed her unless she was like truly in your blind spot. 
but it's going to take some guts on my part to get brave enough to try to cross streets again. But really, it's not about me. It's about blind people who are, number one, oriented enough with where they are and can stay oriented enough with where they are to be able to cross the streets and still keep track of what street they just crossed and where they are. Number two, the people who do have the courage to cross the streets. I mean, just because I don't know if or when I'll ever go out there doesn't mean there are not other blind people that go out there and pay attention to the traffic patterns, like I said last week. We're paying attention to when we're supposed to go. We're listening for that surge of parallel traffic on the side of us. And when it starts going alongside of us, that's when we go, get across that street. So fellow pedestrians, this guy's got a point. Let's wear something that is more visible than all black. Let's wear reflective vests. Let's wear something that makes it easier for drivers to see us. And drivers, please have a heart. If God forbid there is an accident, stop, do what you're supposed to do. I guess that's my overriding thing about this whole thing. What drives me crazy, if I was to be so silly as to send Chris McGinnis a, a thing, what drives me crazy, I would say, Chris, I don't drive, but what drives me crazy is, you hear about it in the news all the time, drivers that hit people, animals, anything with breath, and then just drive off. Oh, crap. I just hit something? Oh, well, hopefully it's just a piece of tire rubber. Moving on with my day. Uh, what if that was someone that was dearly loved by someone, whether it was a pet or a child or an adult, and you just ripped someone's heart out? <sighs> For all you care, you just took off. Hit and runs drive me freaking crazy. I'm liable to say that pretty often, but <laughs> until and unless he does one about that, and in fact, even if he does ever do one about that, I'll probably still do it because... If you want to talk about what drives me crazy as far as traffic and roads and et cetera, et cetera, that's what does it. But that's my two cents worth on that driving me crazy. Like I say, I will grant that that's a good point. All of us pedestrians, let's wear reflective something so that drivers can actually see us have a snowball's chance in the desert of seeing us when we are crossing the street. Having said that, thank you for watching this video. Please follow me on Twitter, or if you must, on Facebook. Check out the description below for services and petitions that I believe in, and I'll see you in the next video when you hear what I have to say.